Hi, this is Joseph from NajoniPhoto.com, and today I'm going to be talking about backing up our photos uh, from Lightroom. So this is an important thing to go, go into because if you don't understand how to back up your photos, then you're apt to actually lose them, and you don't want that to happen. Okay, now before we really get into it, I want to mention one thing. From time to time, Lightroom is going to offer to do a catalog backup. Now, I think when people hear this, that, that Lightroom's going to back up a catalog, they automatically think, okay, that means my photos are going to be backed up as well. But that's not the case. As we know from the last class, the way Lightroom works is that it stores our photos apart from the program itself on our hard drive and our photos are stored somewhere else but the actual catalog that the catalog just pertains to the metadata of our photos so when we back up our catalog we're not actually backing up our photos to adequately back up our photo files we have to manually do that ourselves uh, now let me show you this if I X out of Lightroom I have it set up so it's going to it's offering me to do a catalog backup and it even says right here it's trying to warn me it says that I'm only backing up the catalog file not the photos and it always struck me as strange that this wouldn't be a more prominent warning because this is a really critical thing to keep in mind. Uh, but it's just kind of sitting there as this innocu innocuous little like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, you're not actually backing up your photos. So if your hard drive crashes and you don't back up your photos, you're kind of screwed. So you need to actually back up your photos yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So one way you can back up your photos is to export a folder as a catalog. Uh, now, I know right off the bat you might be confused because we just said that catalogs have nothing to do with the photos themselves. And that is true, but in this case, when we export our folders as a catalog, essentially what we're doing is, is we are copying this folder and all of the metadata and all of the photos that are inside the folder that we choose to export. So if I wanted to export this folder, I, all I would do is I would right click it and I click export this folder as a catalog. Let me do that again in case I was too quick. Right click and then it's down here, export this folder as a catalog. Now this brings up this little window. Uh, the save as, this is a, a folder, this we can name our folder backup, okay? And we can actually name, um, well first let, let's, um, let's talk about how we actually decide where this goes. Okay, let me back up a little bit. To the left, uh, we, this is where we tell our, our program where we want this export to go. So in this case, I'm going to be doing it on, a desk, on my desktop, okay, just to show you how it's done. But if I had a hard drive plugged in or a flash drive, we can actually select that drive and export to that location. Okay, so all you got to do is pick your location and you can see I already did this because it, it took quite a while to export it but I created a folder here and to do that all I did was I hit new folder and I named it LR Backup 2016 and then I named the, fo the folder itself Backup okay and then you just click export catalog now what it did is it spit out this folder right on my desktop and you can see it has all of the, this is the actual catalog data. So this is, this contains all of the metadata of our images, okay? But in this folder, this is where our actual photos are. So these are our full resolution original files. So this folder now, I could drag this onto a hard drive or a flash drive or anything I want and I'm backed up, okay? Now I just showed you this for a single folder. What if I wanted to back up my entire Lightroom library? It's really easy to do that. All you have to do is find your parent folder in Lightroom, 
Right now, I have my parent folder hidden. So to find it, I right click and I click Show Parent Folder. And now all I have to do is export this parent folder as a catalog. Now this will take a long time because there's 8,000 images, but when I'm done, I'm essentially going to have an identical backup of all of my photos and all of the metadata in Lightroom. So that's all I have to do. So I, And then I just have to make sure that that folder is on a hard drive or wherever else I want it to go. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is what's known as a, a 321 backup system. So what that stands for is uh, three stands for the fact that you need to have three hard uh, backup sources. So by that I mean a backup source can be anything from your photos being backed up to a hard drive, backed up to a flash drive, or backed up to a disk. Okay, so you need to have three hard sources. For me, I actually have five sources because I have multiple hard drives that I'm backed up to and I also have memory cards that I'm backed up to because I told you in the last video one of my one of the things I do is when I fill up a memory card I just uh, I vacuum seal it and then I buy a new one and I fill the new one up and my logic is because well that's an extra backup of my photos there's no reason to delete any sort of a backup and that's actually saved me in the past. Uh, two stands for the fact that uh, two of your hard drives of your hard sources of backup need to be in different locations. Okay so let's say you had a backup on your computer okay and then two hard drives that had complete backups of your Lightroom library. Well, one of those hard drives you might want to put somewhere in your house, but maybe in a hidden location where in case someone robs your house, they're not going to find it. So that would be one uh, backup source that's separate, that's hidden somewhere. A second one, would it would be wise to have a backup source at a friend's house or a family's house because then that way if your house burned down, you could still go and get your hard drive that has all of your backups. So that's two of the three, two, one. One stands for uh, that you need to have a full backup into the cloud. And we're going to talk about a good cloud source in just a minute here. The next thing I want to talk about is backing up with Time Machine and, and also retrieving photos in Time Machine. Now if you don't use a Mac you can just go ahead and, and uh, use the little timestamps in the info section just below this video and you can just skip to the next portion of this video because this is a Mac exclusive feature. Okay, so now that it's just the Mac people in the room, <laughs> we can talk about Time Machine. So if you don't already know what Time Machine is, is it's a really cool Mac-based system to where every time you back up your computer in Time Machine, it takes a snapshot of your hard drive and it pretty much saves every new object that was not on your computer the last time you backed up. Um, so it's a really, really cool system because you can ha you can retrieve files that are years and years old that haven't been on your computer in years. As long as you still have that time machine back up on your computer, you're good to go. Now, backing up in light in a time machine is really easy. Uh, all you have to do is plug your hard drive in, and it's going to back it up automatically. Now, what would I do if I wanted to retrieve a photo from my backup, okay? It's really, really easy to do, okay? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, let's say this photo, for example. Let's say I was to delete this photo, okay? I'm going to delete this from my disk, so it's gone. It's not even going to be in my folder, and I'll show you that right now. We're going to right click this folder and go to show in finder. Okay. And you can see it's gone. We don't have that photo anymore. It's just it, because we've deleted it off of our hard drive. 
Uh, but let's say I accidentally deleted this photo and I want to get it back. Okay, uh, we can go into hard drive and retrieve this photo. And it's really easy to do it. All you do is you go into hard into a time machine, you click on this icon up here, and you, you click enter time machine. And this is going to take you into the time machine program. And what this does is it's pretty much showing you a mirror image of what your hard drive looked at at the time that you backed it up. So let's go to our most current backup. Okay. Now let's say I wanted to find that photo. All I have to do is find my Lightroom folder. Right here, we're going to Z Projects. We're going to Last Arizona in Winter. And actually, let me go back a little further. Okay, because by deleting that photo, Time Machine made another quick backup where that photo doesn't exist on it. So let me show you how to get this back. We're going to go to our previous backup. That, that We're going to find a backup that was taken at a time before I deleted that photo. Okay, so let's find our photo this way. We're going to go into Lightroom, Z Projects, Arizona Winter. And there it is. There's our photo. So in order to get this photo back, all we have to do is click Restore. And boom, there it is. Time Machine actually put this photo back where it originally was, which is so cool. So now, it's still not showing up in our library because, again, when we add anything, when we make any kind of a change to our Lightroom folders on the hard drive, it's not going to show up in Lightroom until we synchronize our folder. So we have to do that. Let's click Synchronize Folder, and you see it's telling us, it's detecting that this photo was uh, recently added to the folder. So we're going to import it. There it is. And now we're good to go. So that's how you would retrieve a photo from Time Machine. And let me tell you, this I actually used this recently. Um, a couple weeks ago, I realized that at some point in the past month or two, I had accidentally deleted one of my best images. And I almost had a heart attack because it was one of my favorite photos, and I accidentally deleted it. Well, I was able to find it in Time Machine uh, simply by going back to a backup in Time Machine where I knew that that, that photo would, would be there. And I was able to find that picture and put it back on my hard drive and get it back into Lightroom. So that's how you use Time Machine. The last thing I want to talk about is backing up into the cloud. So again, this is part of our 3-2-1 backup program. Uh, backing up into the into the cloud, it's uh, very important. Until you have all of your photos backed up into the cloud, you're not a hundred percent safe. Now there are a few, there are a lot of different backup programs that you can use. Uh, there are a few that I've used. I've used um, SkyDrive through Microsoft. I think it's called OneDrive now. Uh, I've used Amazon Cloud, and now I'm using a program called uh, Backblaze. I think uh, you see the the problems I had with the last system with, with the last programs were that uh, they were really slow, or they had limits as to how much information I could upload into the cloud, or the biggest problem was that I couldn't synchronize my files with the cloud, meaning that. I would have to manually go in and upload all of my photos into the internet. And if, and if I didn't do that, I, I would still be likely to lose my photos. Uh, I think Backblaze is the best program to use because it's only $5 a month. Here's the website here. It's only $5 a month. There's unlimited storage. 
it's reasonably fast to upload uh, images to the web. It's not lightning fast, but it's reasonably fast. But the best thing about it is that you can automatically back up every file to the cloud. So by simply adding photos into Lightroom, we know that the photos are going to therefore be uh, copied on our hard drive. And if we have Backblaze set up, they're automatically going to be saved into the cloud. So if you do it that way, you're never going to have to worry about whether or not you've backed up your photos. It's going to be automatic, which is pretty cool. Uh, and if you use that with Lightroom, with a Time Machine, then, then you're even safer. Now, what I like to do with Backblaze, I have it set up on my system now. We have this little icon here. Uh, you can actually set a lot of different types of preferences in back, uh, black bait, Backblaze. Uh, the thing that I prefer to do is I, I actually opt out of the synchronized hard drive. And the reason why I do that is because sometimes I go out and I shoot a bunch of photos and when I get them back to my computer, I haven't fully decided which pictures I want to delete yet. <clears throat> so I don't really see the point of uploading photos into the cloud if I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep them yet. So how I prefer to use ba uh, Backblaze is I have it remind me once a week that I need to back up. And then when I'm ready to back up, all I have to do is go up here and click this one button to back up and I'm good to go. So uh, rather than having to individually like, uh, you know, export a folder as a catalog and then back up that single folder into the cloud, I just click this one button and I'm good to go. So this is definitely the program that I would recommend that you use. And with that, we'll end our video for the day. Hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, just stay tuned for some more helpful videos in the future. See ya.